First inning. So here we go. Bottom of the ninth. Gallegos first pitch. Otani rips a base hit into right center field. Hand to the gap. Cut off by Thomas in center field. Otani stops it second with a leadoff double. That was a preset determined swing. Taking what Gallegos was going to give him. And he got it. And boy, he delivered. Taking his helmet off. And let's see the wheels, big boy. It was a great play by Thomas, who just got hit on the foot by a pitch to get there and cut it off. Otherwise, Otani's at third easy. How good is this guy? Oh, man, he's unbelievable. The approach, the execution, and the attitude. Yoshida, who hit the home run to tie the game his last time up, he could win it with a home run here. High with a fastball. Set an all time World Baseball Classic single tournament record with 13 runs batted in. He's hit two home runs. He's been locked in. Here's the 1 0. That is high 2 0. I've just been impressed with the way he can control the strike zone. That, that for me is so key. Facing a guy he's never seen before with really good stuff. Yeah, G. Heels got the guy out there on the mound that he wants. Oh, yeah. Tying run at second. Nobody out. Ninth inning. Here's the 2 0. It is ball three. He does such a good job of simplifying everything, slowing everything down. When you talk about how when you see the pitches how good you see him you always feel like you're behind the baseball he does such a good job with that. I mean you would think take 3 0 but he's seeing the ball so well. Here's the pitch it is a strike. Huh. I think if you're Gallegos, you got to really execute right now on this pitch. Understanding you got Murakami behind Yoshida, who's 0 for 4 with three strikeouts. That's the guy they want to highlight in this inning. You got to make a good pitch here. The 3 1. Very high ball four. Well, it seems inconceivable. The guy who just won the triple crown in Japan, who's a two time MVP, that you would even consider asking him to give himself up. But the way he has swung the bat tonight, it might be at least a consideration. Well, we said it in the seventh inning, right? He just wants another chance, and it's here. The chance is here right now for Mr. Murakami. Shuto will be the pinch runner for Yoshida. Japan is playing to win this game right here, right now. Yukio Shuto, the winning run aboard with nobody out. And the manager wants to talk. And he might be thinking the same. I mean, look, in a different spot, you, I, yeah. I don't think it would even be possible, but. Munitaka Murakami just has not looked comfortable at the plate at all. It could be a situation here where he'll give him one pitch. Yeah. And, and we'll see what happens, right? But other than that, I mean, it's just game seven, you know? And fascinating. The big slugger stands in. Two on, nobody out. Looking very hitterish at the plate. The pitch. 
He fouls it off to the left out of play. That's a good swing right there. It'll be very hard. I, I would think he's swinging. I, there's there's no bunting here. Me too. You got to trust your guy. Two time MVP. He's been thinking about this moment for six years now. He's too good. Too good. Even if he hasn't looked great tonight. You got to trust him. Good speed on the bases with nobody out. The 0 1 is in the dirt and he took that uh, yeah, pitch. Nice softer in. take right there. That's a much softer take. We talked a lot of times with him in the front foot how he's leaning to, to feel the weight of his front foot. That was a lot smoother, a lot softer. Ooh. 1 1 count though. Got to win this count. Good change of count. Gallego's got a good one. Gallego's looks back at Otani. The pitch is hit to left center field. Hit very well, and it is off the wall. Otani flying around third, right behind him, scoring the winning run. It's a walk off. Japan will play for the championship. He will never forget Murakami. My oh my, a country that is going absolutely crazy.